So this is a recipe for a Chinese beef brisket stew with daikon radish. This is the Chinese cooking channel called Chinese Cooking Channel. For this recipe, we're using a slow cooker, but we can also use a regular pot to make this dish. So here we have about three pounds of beef brisket. So I'm gonna cut the uh, big piece into two. We've got some water boiling here. We're gonna put the beef brisket into the water for about 10 to 15 minutes just to get rid of some of the fat impurities in the blood. It's gonna run some cold water over the brisket. Now what you wanna do is uh, cut the uh, beef brisket into fairly large pieces. You want to have a bit of fat on each piece if you like. Just like that. So there's about three pounds of beef brisket there. So we're ready for the next step. It's actually easier to peel these uh, daikon radish compared to a potato. It's quite easy to peel. So just go like that. Just peel like a potato and this will just take a brief moment to peel. It doesn't take that long. Cut the daikons now. So first just cut off the ends. So just uh, fairly big chunks. So just cut them into fairly large chunks. I'm going to preheat a pan at medium heat. I'm going to put about maybe five tablespoons of cooking oil in there. Got some ginger here, which is uh, in fairly large chunks. Got about half a dozen cloves of garlic. So we're just gonna stir that, stir fry it for about 20 seconds. So I leave the uh, ginger and the garlic in large pieces because it's gonna go into the slow cooker. I'm gonna add the uh, beef brisket now. So just give that a good sear. I'm going to turn the uh, heat on to high. Some people bypass this step, but I like to give the meat a good sear, so that will lock in the flavors in the beef. So give that a final stir fry. Now we're going to put the uh, beef into the uh, slow cooker. So I include all the juices as well. For the next step, add three to four cups of water. So now we're gonna add the ingredients. I've got three star anise. So put three of those into the uh, water there. I've got uh, two pieces of dried Chinese Mandarin orange peel. So I'm gonna put that in there. So I'm gonna use a, a basic bean sauce, which is made of soybeans. So I'm gonna put three tablespoons of this soybean sauce. So it's any kind of sauce that has a, has a soybean base to it. So you can also use hoisin sauce or you can also use uh, a spare rib sauce, a barbecue sauce, a soybean based sauce. So I'm going to put three tablespoons of light soy sauce three tablespoons of this oyster flavor sauce, three tablespoons of brown sugar. You can use regular white sugar too if you like. You can also use uh, Chinese rock sugar which has a little more complex flavor. Dark soy sauce gives the stew a nice dark color so it's more for coloring. It's a sweet uh, soy sauce. So you only need to put about a tablespoon in there. Sesame oil will give the uh, stew a nice nutty flavor. 
So about a teaspoon will do it. So this is Shaoxing cooking wine. So this is an optional ingredient. So I'm just going to put about a tablespoon in there. So you can put anywhere from one to uh, three tablespoons. So finally I'm going to put uh, a couple of bay leaves in there. The uh, fu yi. So I've got the, uh, the bean curd, the fu yi fermented bean curd. And we use about three of these uh, bean cakes. So that makes all the ingredients. So you can put a combination of these ingredients. These are just suggestions because these are the flavors that I like. So I'm just going to stir that up a bit. Cover with a lid and then cook for four hours at the low heat setting. So the daikon radish we're going to put in maybe in the last couple hours. On a regular stove the daikon will cook in one hour. So now we're going to cover the uh, slow cooker again. Simmer for the final two hours at the low heat setting. I'm going to skim the fat from the top of the surface. You can put one to two teaspoons of salt. I'm using the uh, Mediterranean natural salt, Mediterranean uh, sea salt. So I'm going to put about, um, about a tablespoon. The daikon radish has been in the uh, slow cooker for about two hours. It's uh, fairly tender and if you want it more tender just put it in a little earlier. I'm going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch in a quarter cup of water so this will thicken the sauce. Ooh, that looks good. I like the sinews on the beef brisket. So there's lots of sinews and you got the Daikon radish, nice and tender by now. And a rich sauce. There you have it, a simple and delicious recipe for beef brisket and daikon radish. Enjoy.